Bongiorno, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. Your resident dark dimensional Ned Spotos at your service. I'm driving up to my brothers here to watch the Chicago Bears stop the Green Bay Fudge Packers. Yeah, it's a. Uh, just a few things while driving up. I uh, I noticed that as you, you know, a lot of people, it's amazing how many people, you know, totally ignore the speed limit on the interstate, on the highway. I mean, not just ignore it. I mean, they just told it just it just totally blows me away how fast they travel. I mean, I could be going like 10 miles over the speed limit like going 80 miles an hour and then there'll be people passing me like it's standing still you know now while you can use what they're doing as a way to you know go faster because what my brother calls he calls it having those guys run the block for him <laughs> and what that means is basically is that you can kind of go faster than them or if you go just as just a little bit slower than what they're going and that way if you pass a cop car the cops gonna go after them instead of you well the funny thing about that is is that somebody like me I still like to go quite a bit slower sometimes most of the time and um, the problem with that is is like okay if there's so many people going past you and they're going way faster than you that just simply means that the other that the cops <laughs> can catch you faster than them because they're going slow because you're going slower so you know it's kind of a disadvantage i'm sure that's happened at least once you know and the cop comes up and says well officer what about those guys that were going like they were going like 95 and i was only going 80 so why don't you go after them? <laughs> but, um, yeah. Yeah, I'm almost there. The beauty of a, the DVR, I tell you. Oops. Yeah, since I'm arriving a little bit late, at least with having the DVR recording, then we can start off where it happened. Yeah. I don't know. It's just... It gets harder and harder and harder all the time to follow the rules, at least for me, anyway. And, like I said, like some people who have like a similar condition than I do, But, you know, I think they have a type of Asperger's Syndrome. It's amazing. And they are probably, they are, I don't know. But what I found out is that because they have basically embraced following the rules, you know, like a lot of neurotypicals do, because they have a autistic spectrum like condition then that's a that's a major negative factor it's like well okay you have your condition that makes your performance really really bad and if you embrace you know <clears throat> doing the rules to a T then that's going to expose how bad your performance actually will be. And I've seen that. I've seen that prevalently with uh, certain people. No, not the Green Bay symbol. Anyway. But, um... Yeah, the... <clears throat> Thank you.
but yeah, it's uh, the only way that I've been able to make myself look good and make myself look the way that I do is because I bend the rules. I bend them really, really good. I've gotten pretty good at it, I would like to think, in a lot of different ways. Sometimes I get caught. But it's interesting, though, when neurotypicals bend the rules. They've learned how to do it like I do it, but they do it better. They're Because of the way they know how to, then they actually excel. They, they know exactly... And they're very confident with what they got and what they're gonna, what's gonna happen. So they're therefore they excel. And if they get caught, they're confident to stand up for themselves, and they're confident to um, take the heat. You know, they they know they can live, they can get through that. Me, I'm a, I'm not so sure. And I mean, there's a lot of things that I do where it eats it eats up a good portion of my time. So, it eats up a good portion of my time because I try to overtly compensate for it. I try to, like, really make sure I'm not going to get caught, and sometimes I just... You know, and I'm worried about it, and so then I really, that's something I've been working on, so see you later.